Locals are reacting to the national shutdown now in its fifth week. Government employees say they are feeling the hard impact in their households, so much so that groups throughout the valley have come together to offer a helping hand. CBS 4's Abril Preciado tells us more. But it's going to start getting to the point where I'm going to have to look at other means of uh, gaining some income. It's a thought that comes to mind for many government employees as the nation's longest running government shutdown continues into the fifth week. Right now, nothing's nothing's happened in Congress. Nothing's happened in the Senate. The president hasn't signed anything, so we're still on furlough. On Saturday, President Donald Trump made an announcement at his Oval Office proposing a compromise to fund the border wall and then the shutdown. The candidate for president, I promised I would fix this crisis, and I intend to keep that promise one way or the other. And while that continues to be an ongoing discussion in Washington, government employees like Christine Creasy say their family has been severely affected. She and her husband are working but not getting paid. Uh, each of us have missed one paycheck, so that's two paychecks in the family. Uh, the next time the next one goes, it'll be four paychecks that we've missed. Groups of government employees throughout the Rio Grande Valley have been gathering to help each other in a time of need. Um, so this allows us to give them the opportunity to receive some assistance, but also have the opportunity to just engage with each other, share experiences, kind of vent a little bit. Community leaders like Nuri Vitello visiting from Washington, D.C. to show support for furloughed Border Patrol agents. This is a record breaking furlough for, uh, for us. So we're just learning through the process just as the agency is learning. But I think the agency has finally realized we need family programs like the military has. We need to have a place to go to. This group of women hosted an event on Saturday to provide those families affected by the shutdown with food and gift cards. Even local restaurants have been hopping on board to assist. And we'll still be here for them uh, and our federal employees uh, until until we can get this over with. For now, many say they want to see the government reach an agreement. We're hoping it ends soon. In McAllen with complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS4 Valley Tonight.